How to get candy in Adopt Me's new Halloween update. But first, if you'd like to go and get a lava dragon completely for free, just like this lucky winner, then simply leave this video a thumbs up. The first mini game we're going to be going and playing is Simon Says. To go and get the candy, you need to go and join into the circle. If you're standing out of the circle, then you will not play the mini game. You need to be standing inside the circle, which will then go and turn green. The game is also known as the Chickatrice Says game, because a Chickatrice is also going to be a brand new pet that we're going to be able to go and unlock in 13 days. Subscribe with notifications to find out more about what those brand new pets will be. As you can see, there is a small countdown in the middle of the circle telling you how long until the game comes out. Remember to be sure you're inside of the circle because some players might be able to push you out of it resulting in you not playing the challenge. The game is simple, you get teleported to this location where there'll be a countdown in the middle and then up here there seems to be different colour combinations of locations that you need to go to. So as you can see one of them is orange and has this little tree so we're going to go to the orange one which has this tree which means we'll survive. Any one which isn't that will go and get eliminated. Or if you fall off then you also get eliminated. So I highly recommend that you don't go on fall off just like I did completely accidentally. That's right, I fell off. I still got 931 candy, surprisingly, for falling off. Basically, the idea of the game is to go and stand in the location of where this thing shows. So at the moment, it shows the little yellow one. So ideally, this person needs to be standing here or they go and get yeeted into the sky. There's a total of 8 rounds to go and compete in, and if you manage to go and get to all 8, then you'll go and claim a higher reward amount of candy. Obviously, the more candy the better. Once you've completed your minigame, you need to go and walk down this little pathway. And as you'll notice, there's actually a countdown above saying how long until the next minigame comes out. The minigames seem to be on a 20 minute rotation, allowing you to go and play games pretty regularly. After completing that game, we're then able to go and head to this one, which will take us another 7 minutes and 30 seconds until we can go and begin. You can always go and do other things and you'll get a pop-up notification to go and join the minigame before it starts. Meaning you don't have to just be waiting around in the Halloween section, you can continue to play Adopt Me, age up your brand new pets, such as the lovely lava dragon that just came out. I'm kind of curious, what will you guys trade for a lava dragon as well? Since the pet just came out and it cost a thousand robux, I'm not too sure what it's worth. Realistically, you can probably get seven low tier legendaries for this pet, because for the same price you could buy like seven ride potion and for each ride potion you can get a legendary. So far, I don't think I've found an adequate trade. So for now, I'll stick to giving these things away for free. To be fair, this is actually a really good trade offer. As you can see, a pop-up notification will appear when there's a mini game going on. Simply press teleport and it will take you to the desired location. Once you're here, don't forget to then go and enter the lovely circle. If it doesn't turn green, then you're not going to be participating in the game. The more players that go and join this game, the harder that it becomes. I'm not potentially sure if it actually means that there's a higher amount of candy that you go and get rewarded which would logically make sense since there's more players making it harder to win. But if not, then I assume players could just go in their private server and literally win every single mini game. So let me know down below in the comment section if you can actually earn more candy by going and playing in a private server in comparison to going and playing in a public server. Logically, it would make sense to go and earn more if you're competing against actual players instead of just yourself. How to play Spleef is pretty simple. What? We all just fell to our doom. I survived seven seconds. We all literally just fell to our doom. I think the game is broken. It didn't replenish. It didn't replenish any of the tiles. Is that a bug? Bro, the circle's gone to play. Is Did somebody survive? That is crazy. That is... That is a big... A big bug. <laughs> Bro, we can spectate this guy. What? What is- how did you get here? What? <laughs> Bro, did he like hack? How is he flying? Okay, I have many questions. Once you're in the game, you'll actually appear onto a tile. 
the best tactic is to actually jump and avoid other players, or you can go and cut a player off by going and running around them, hoping that they then won't go and take over your location, just like so, if we go and cut off where they're just about to go and land, then they'll have no location left to go and walk. So it's a pretty interesting tactic, and if there's lots of tiles left, then what you want to do is run and jump and then press space. Wait until it starts to disappear, and then you go and do the jump. By going and doing this, it means you'll go and get more airtime. And since it's based on how many players are left, I highly recommend going and doing this, as it allows you to go and stay on the top floor as long as possible. Instead of just simply running across it, what you want to go and do is this jumping technique, which then allows you to go and literally last as long as possible in this game. So hopefully, we are able to actually beat the timer and also beat the other players. Since there's only three players that we have to try and win against, I'm pretty sure we are able to go and beat them as they're like down below on the lower levels. They are quite definitely going to go and lose and we're going to be able to beat them. Whoa, he just fell from the ceiling. I think there is some type of glitch where players seem to be flying. This guy, he managed to hack earlier. I think he's hacking. So yeah, that guy was definitely a hacker. Um, what did we get from that though? Did we just get tons? 4,750 candy for surviving. Sheesh. 4,750. I'll take that. GG's. That's impressive. That's a lot of candy.